drip drip in today's video we're gonna be learning the watercolor hair color method let's get into it have you ever thought of turning your hair color into a vibrant canvas in today's video we're gonna be diving into the watercolor hair trend and paint your locks with the colors of your dreams just like coloring with kool-aid but all grown up welcome and welcome back beauties it is kayla your favorite beauty educator and you already know we're here with private label extensions giving you the tea on how you can achieve a beautiful watercolor hair at home let's get into it let's talk about how to watercolor your new bundles so Remember back in the day when we thought it was cool to color our hair with Kool-Aid? Well, stylists have taken our childhood trend to a whole new level. Watercolor is a technique made for us DIY girlies because it is so easy and so inexpensive. I've got the scoop on just how to get the perfect watercolor tresses and we'll look at some of my favorite looks from my favorite favorite, favorite celebrities, and YouTubers. How exactly to watercolor your extensions? Coloring hair extensions with this technique is so much easier than any other method I have ever tried. If you've ever been afraid to try a color or fear doing it yourself, this is literally the technique made for you. So what you spend on your hair extensions, you can pay as a little as $6 on your hair. Now I'm gonna tell you guys the ingredients that you'll need. First, you'll need one bottle of hair color or two for more intense colors or if you have more extensions, 613 extensions, a plastic spoon or a whisk, a large glass bowl or a big plastic bucket, warm tap water, gloves of course. So let's get into it. The first step is gonna to be to prep your hair. Before you begin to color your hair, you wanna make sure that you remove all labels, all rubber bands, and all plastic ties from your extensions. Leaving any of these items on your extensions while coloring them, it may prevent the color from sticking to those areas, creating like a tie-dye effect. I also suggest that you unravel the hair to make sure that you color the hair evenly. Once you have all of your bundles properly prepped, set them to the side until it is time to dunk them in. Next, you can prepare your color bath. Now, turn your sink on and let the hot water run for a bit. The idea is to have hot water but not scalding hot water for your hair color. While your water is heating up, now it's time to pour your bottle of color into your plastic bin or your glass bowl. I like to get every bit of my color out of the bottle, so I love to add a little bit of water, shake it up, and pour the rest into our container. At this point, your water should be the perfect temperature, so now you can fill your bowl or your bucket with the hot tap water about three quarters of the way. Then you wanna go in with a plastic spoon or a whisk, which I personally prefer, to blend the color and the water. You must break up all of the chunks of color so that they aren't any uneven patches on your extensions. Finally, take your extensions and lay them directly into your color bath. This is my favorite part. You wanna lay them in and you wanna wait to pull them out until the water in the bath becomes completely clear. If the water is clear, that means that the hair has absorbed all of the colors. If you're going for more pastel color or just the tint, you wanna use one bottle of color. You may notice that in some of the YouTube videos, people dunk their bundles in the color bath, but don't allow them to sit. Dunking will lead to uneven color and your bundles may not match. So for the sake of all of your extensions coming out in uniform color, Please allow them to sit in the water until they reach your intended color. You wanna follow all of this up with your favorite conditioner and allow your extensions to air dry per usual. And voila, that is it. Easy, quick, and super simple. Now, let's talk about some of my favorite watercolor looks. So SZA with the slime green, this was definitely a moment. Arnel Armand, she dropped a major treat for us when she recreated the scissors trend, inspiring bone straight slime green inches. Scissors look was a moment and everyone went to work to recreate it. Arnel's tutorial was the best and the easiest to follow. 
She used multiple brands, including Kiss Color and Manic Panic for added dimension. One of her biggest takeaways was how much product that you can save using this technique. A single bottle of color, it can cost up to $12 or even $14. So if you're DIYing it, water coloring your extensions may be the option for you. Autumn Leaves. LaRasia Andrea is one of my absolute favorite YouTubers. Not only does she do great makeup tutorials, but she also always slays those hair tutorials. When I researched how to watercolor your extensions on YouTube, her videos were some of the first to pop up. This one in particular is my favorite because not only does it incorporate the watercolor method, but it also includes some techniques on how to achieve root realness. Adores Copper Brown, the French Cognac, Cajun Spice, and Orange Blaze. She used these to get her fiery oranges and reds. She then topped the color off with Ion's Rose Quartz for those rose gold finish, which is just gorgeous. Now, let's get into the mermaid ting. And trust me, this look is going to be perfect for the fall. Now, for the mermaid tings, Shea Moore, she took the mermaid look to a whole different level using the watercolor technique. She colored her entire unit in a teal blue using the watercolor method to create a base layer for her color. Then, she followed that technique with color melting various colors on the top of the base that she created. A mermaid colored unit has so much depth of color and catches the eye from every angle. The color playoff is way more intense because she saturated the hair in a blue base color instead of trying to color melt on platinum blonde hair. Check out her tutorial and you can also recreate this look with your own spin. The watercolor method, it lets us save time and save that coin. Using the watercolor technique is so ingenious. I've tried this method multiple times and I always get excellent results. It is a great technique that saves money and time. With this technique, you can be as creative as you want. So remember to share your watercolor creations with us here at Private Label. Leave your comments down below, tag us in your Instagram post. We will love to check them out. Don't forget to send this video to your bestie so you too can create some watercolor magic. Peace out.